guys, welcome back to Teal House Farm. We are inside one of our DIY greenhouses today, getting ready to plant some strawberries. And in my, no coming. In my vertical grow stock I'm garden. Not coming. I'm coming. Sorry, Isla does not want to share the greenhouse with anybody but mommy. Are you being bossy? No. I think you are. <laughs> So the green stock gardening system is a five tiered, I'm sorry it is super windy, I thought maybe doing this in the greenhouse would help with that but I'm, I apologize there's a lot of background noise, it's very windy today. It's a five tiered planting system that you stack these tiers on top of each other, comes with watering basins and so when you water it waters all of the basins evenly and really it really does a good job. Last year I used this uh, planting system to grow lettuces and spinach and this year I want to try to use it to grow strawberries which according to the manufacturer it is a great choice for growing strawberries. I can definitely see how that would be true having used this before and seeing how evenly it waters and keeps things nice and moist. Um, strawberries just they're very finicky and they like the water just so and um, I think that this will give them what they want. Um, in the past I have tried doing raised beds with strawberries, I've tried planting strawberries directly into the garden, I've just never had successful strawberries. One year the goats broke in the garden and mowed them down, one year there was just, it rained a lot and the garden got too muddy and they died, and then last year they actually survived pretty well, um, but the weeding was just so toilsome, even using a weed barrier with a lot of straw. It was just a pain and it was a lot harder than any other plants that we grow. So trying doing it in the vertical system this year to eliminate the weeding need and the watering problems. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We're going to follow manufacturer's suggestions and we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. And you can see how to grow strawberry plants in the grow stock system. So the first thing we're going to do is fill each one of these with about uh, an inch of our homemade compost. I am going to start by putting um, about an inch worth of our homemade compost on the bottom of each of the five tiers. This is made from composted chicken house residue from our coop and um, some old straw that's also been broken down and actually some leftover potting soil from last year just kind of all mixed together. We're going to put a bottom layer in each one of these to give it a little extra nutrition punch on the bottom and then we're going to fill them up with soil. We fill first, then we plant, then we stack. And make sure you do all this in the location you want this planter to be. It gets really heavy. I learned that by mistake last year. I thought I could fill outside and then move into the greenhouse. And we did, but it was very difficult to do. So make sure you are doing this all in the location that you want your final vertical tower to be. done watching? You all done watching? For reference it took four bags of potting mix to fill these and you do need to use potting mix. You do not want to use fill dirt or another really heavy dense dirt. You need a nice loose potting mix. So Ivy now is going to help me actually plant these. So you can put one strawberry plant. So these are bare roots. You could also wait another month and buy your pre-started strawberries. Well, depending where you are, there may already be pre-started strawberry like plant plants at your store. Where we are, it's another month till we see those in the store. But we're gonna go ahead and start with bare roots. And we're gonna go ahead and plant one per cubby hole in the um, planters. So if I did my math right, we should need 30 plants, 30 bare roots, to fill each cubby hole in the uh, stackable planter. How long is it going to take for these strawberries to grow? 
All right. Is that what's supposed to happen? Nope, it's only that. We need a clump here. This is, there's 10 roots in here. They're all clumped together there. Can you count them? There it is. All right. This is hard to find. They have them rubber banded together. What there happened? we go, Ivy. There's one. Lay them like that or lay them like this? Just lay them there so we make sure okay. we got all ten here. What happened to our pumpkins? Two, uh, I don't know. Three. Mommy, all that All right, so count. good job. Puppy. Okay, we're going to dig. We we'll use our hand here, dig a big hole. Okay, JJ, put those dangly roots in there. And we're gently going to pat Later. that man, little guy down. Question. Just at the crown. All right, Ivy, you do that one. <clears throat> so big hole with your hand. Roots in the bottom. Gently pat it in. And we have our first one all planted. You do that. I'll do this if you want to stand on that one. Mom, can I try? Can nope, this messy? one's all done. Can, Mom, can I get messy? Can you, can you open this? I want to get messy. Did you just dig this one in? No, not in that one. I'll help you if I have to. Right there, good job. Okay. Tid, pat him in. Hmm. Hey, you remember? Like that? Okay. Hey, get in. What do you do next, JJ? Uh, no. Patty, are you scared? Mm -hmm. No, not Come here. You have to look this way. For the first time in my homesteading career, the math worked out exactly right. Every single cubby is full. <laughs> so now Ivy, big muscles Ivy, we stack them. Are you ready? So uh, this is pretty tall. I can't remember exactly how tall it is. It's not, it's not six foot, but it's bigger than five foot. I can't remember exactly. You can look it up on their website. I'll link it below. But we have to st stack it in the middle of our greenhouse so that it doesn't hit the ceiling. So you put a planted tray and then a water catcher basin. And then we are going to do another planted tray on top and another water catcher basin and repeat for all the layers. about this system is it always seems to be like the leaning tower of Pisa. If you cannot guarantee that the ground it is on is absolutely perfectly flat, every layer just amplifies that small little degree of difference until the top looks pretty darn crooked. That's my biggest complaint. It's very heavy though, so it's pretty stable. Last year I, um, Last year I had it in my other greenhouse, which is even more not level on the ground, and I reinforced it with a bungee cord, and I'm probably gonna do that again here just to make sure. But the good thing about being inside in the greenhouses is the wind doesn't get in there and rock it around. Ivy is currently doing our favorite activity, which is trying to get the hose to unwind. And it's kind of hard to do. Get stuck. How are we, it. can you fix it, JJ? Yes. It's stuck on the chicken. Go, 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 go. Okay, so what you do is you fill it up here at the top. It's gonna drip on down. <laughs> you can see it dripping, there's the first layer. And we kind of just wait here at the bottom until we see it start to drip down here and then we know we can turn the water off because the basins are full enough. There it is. 
We will plant more of that greenhouse later this week. Kind of give you just a peek here if you want to see what's going on in our other greenhouse. We got some radishes that I just planted. They're just now starting to poke through. These are spinaches. This is a spicy lettuce mix, which I really like. It's really good. These are these are cabbage starts, which I'm going to move into that other greenhouse. And then this is an iceberg. These two are an, like an iceberg loose leaf. Not iceberg. These are a green loose leaf lettuce variety. The cabbages, I'm going to separate the best seedlings out of that bunch. Plant them over in the ground of the other greenhouse, hoping that having them inside the covered greenhouse will help reduce the issue we have with um, pests that like to come infect my cabbages. I have never successfully grown a cabbage. It always gets really close to done and then either something gets it or the heat gets it. So we're going to try this technique to see if we can get cabbage this year and make some fresh sauerkraut. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you all very soon.